If you're a student, um, for example, we would say you could um, add, apply for a job using CV application forms, etc. But another way of applying for a job or of showcasing your skills would be through an e-portfolio. So, for example, they could have um, the online CV. They could have examples of their work. A fashion student might have some designs on their e-portfolio which an employer could look at. So it's just another way of self-marketing themselves to an employer. I think often students can't articulate the skills that they possess in the standard paper-based CV, whereas they can actually show evidence of their skills through the portfolio. Um, and employers are often cited as saying that they can't find students or graduates with the appropriate mix of skills that they're looking for. So therefore, the, using an e-portfolio, um, they'll be able to evidence those skills. Well, obviously, a big emphasis is on um, work experience at the moment. So it's not just having the academic skills, it's also having the work experience to back up those skills. So, but often, students will do work experience or volunteering or internships, but they don't know how to show that they have that to an employer. They're not very good at reflecting on the skills that they've gained. Um, and therefore, you would hope that by using an e-portfolio, that they could, because in nature, e-portfolios are reflective. The traditional hard copy portfolio, the purpose of a portfolio was to reflect on your work. So obviously now everything's moving online and so is the portfolios moving online. So hopefully with where they're able to reflect on their skills and look at work experiences they've done on volunteering opportunities or think, um, volunteering things that they've done, they can then showcase those to the employer. Well, an e-portfolio encourages a student to... Um, it's a way of cataloguing what they've done over their education. So throughout education or throughout their experiences, they might use the portfolio to store information that they can then retrieve in the application process. Well we use it a lot in the um, CV and career building unit which is an, a unit that students can take um, to hopefully increase their employability and give them the added edge. Um, through that unit we, we suggest that they use the e-portfolio as a way of marketing themselves and a way of demonstrating that they have the skills that are needed. Um, for example, a student doing journalism, um, not only do they have to know how to write, but they have to edit, they have to blog, they have to do podcasts, they have to take photographs, they have to use a video camera. So a way of displaying that they have all those skills would be through an e-portfolio where they could link to certain different, you know, link to a video, link to pictures, show that they can blog. It could also be um, maybe a sports student who goes out and does lots of coaching and they have lots of different certificates, mini certificates. So it could be a way of cate categorising those certificates, recording the information so it's not, they haven't got a thousand pieces of paper hanging around and also recording their coaching experiences as well.